All right, what's up, guys? Okay, so I'm going to be making a video today on um, making another dedicated Linux server, this time uh, for Steam Steam games, and this time it's going to be for Pal World. Now, um, I have to say that it's like it's very similar to the Arc server and the Satisfactory server. Literally going to almost run the same commands. I just found some extra stuff that um, I incorporated into the overall thing, but for the most part, it's it's basically the same thing that you're doing for Arc or satisfactory so not too difficult um i'm using ubuntu server 22 22 whatever the lts is of today which is february 2nd 24 um, i'm not doing like 20 uh, ubuntu 23 i'm going to do the long-term support one um <clears throat> so basically gonna be the same steps as i had done for my arc server um i actually tested this about an hour or so ago and um, I actually recorded it too, but I didn't have my mic on, so all that video was wasteful. So anyhow, but I did figure some things out. Um, so what I want to do is run through the steps with you. Um, we're going to configure it, we're going to connect to it, um, and it should work, because the, the first time I did it, it actually did. So, um, so I'm starting with Ubuntu. Um, I just did an update on it. Um, I'm currently signed in as root, so sudo su. And uh, we'll go from there. So uh, the first thing you want to do is add a repository and do another update on it. And then I'm going to apparently, apparently this is still required. I think it is at least. I did this for the Arc server. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm making the assumption that a lot of these commands are still required. But we're adding 32-bit architecture. I guess something in Steam Command still uses 32-bit stuff, which I think is kind of odd. But... Um, it is what it is, right? So, um, so we'll add that. We'll do another apt update. I'm going to go ahead and install GCC compiler. Um, then we're going to install Steam command. Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Steam command after that. Yeah, I don't need to restart your services. And then Steam command. This doesn't take very long either. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to make a bunch of file system limits settings. Um, I've noticed that this helps with performance, at least on my Arc server. I don't know if... Arc is a pretty heavy server, in my opinion. I don't know if Pal World is going to be the same like weight. Like, does it require the same amount of uh, uh, file system activity and stuff like that? I, don't, I just don't know. Um, but I'm going to put it in there anyways, because I don't think it's a bad thing. So let's go ahead and edit the... Uh, systemctl file, we're going to put a file max of 100,000, and then we're going to go ahead and process that file, perfect, and then I'm also going to add some limits, we'll put them right here, in the limits.conf, and then I'm going to right quit on that, uh, and then we're going to set a U limit, 100,000 as well, okay. So the next thing I want to do is create a Steam user. Um, I want to run this game just like all the other games that I did this on. I'm going to run it in its own user context. Good idea to not run things as root, obviously, and then I don't want to run it as my G user either. So I'm going to run it in its own user. So we're going to go ahead and add that, create a home directory for it, set a shell, etc. cetera. Um, now we're going to switch to the Steam user um, and do a couple things. One, we're going to go ahead and make a symbolic link to the Steam command binary to uh, the home folder for Steam. So it's going to be in Steam now. So if you look at it, I just created this. So now I want to run the Steam command from this folder. Uh, it has, it obviously knows where to find. I mean, I guess another option you could be, you could, you could path this, but I didn't do that. We'll just put a link there. It works, it works. I've done this for a few different servers and it works just fine doing it this way. So we're going to go ahead and install Pal World. Uh, it does take a little bit of time, so I probably will pause the video while this is going. When I say a little bit, I think it took like, I don't know, two or three minutes to go through the whole thing. It really isn't that long. Downloads this 59 meg update, and I think that might be for Steam command and not necessarily for the game. But then it goes and actually downloads the game, which is considerably bigger. So I'm going to pause it, and when it's done, I'll come back. Okay, so we're back. Um, it's done downloading. Um, now it's verifying, so now it claims fully installed. Perfect. Uh, so one of the things I've added now is uh, installing the Steamworks um, package. And, oops, 
What the? There was some delay there, so I right-clicked it twice. That's crazy. Okay. Um, so I'm looking for steamclient.so because you get you get alerts or warnings rather here and there depending on um, not depending on but in like the arc server uh, uh, log like the journal CTL and I think you get it the same at pal world um, it doesn't affect the server though so I don't know I found somebody online that said that they were installing this too so I figured I'd add it's not going to hurt anything we're going to go ahead and just put it into this folder under our Steam user home folder, .steam SDK 64. And uh, we'll just copy the Steam client SO into that folder. Um, and that, that should do it. One of the things I was thinking, too, was I did notice that, like, up here it said, um, uh, where was it? It said Steam service. I wonder if Steam service is in here, too. Maybe not. That's okay. We won't, we won't get sidetracked. All right, so um, for the most part, we are done um, in here for now. Um, we do need to make some config file changes, but you can't make those yet until you actually um, have the server started. So the next thing we're going to do is create a service file um, called palworld.service, and then you just paste this stuff in here. Right, and I'll have all this all this on the, the video description. You'll be able to download this whole whole text file. So you can copy paste from it as well. A um, couple things. Working directory is the path that I installed to. Um, every time you start the service, it, it runs the install command, which would update it. So if there's an update to Pal World server, you could just restart the service and it'll update it for you. Um, it runs as Steam. It waits until a bunch of services are done loading. So we'll go ahead and save that. Uh, and then we're going to need to do a daemon reload, system CTL reload. And then I want to enable Power World because I want it to start every time the server comes up, the Linux server is booted. Then I'm going to start it because I want to get this, uh, this any file in there. Um, I have, I have to update my file here, don't I? So basically, um, now what I want to do is I want to, I want to copy this default world settings file. Um, we can, Let's try this. So I'm going to copy this file. I just want to make sure the permissions are right. Because if they're not right, you'd want to log in. Or we can just do it the safe way. Let's just do it the safe way. So we're going to go ahead and switch user to Steam again. Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this. The reason I'm doing this is just to make sure that the permissions stay what I would expect. Because if it... If the permissions are like root and root and there's no read for uh, everyone, then the Steam user wouldn't be able to access the file, which defeats the purpose. Anyhow, so if you just do the actions as the Steam user, you won't have to worry about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and edit this Pal World settings file, then I'll just under the save config. And there's a couple things we want to change. Um, so go to the end of this options settings line, which is really just a huge long file. And we are going to um, put a server password in. Um, it could be, oops. Let me start that over. I messed up. I didn't. I didn't insert first. Okay, so insert server password. Just something. I, I don't know your level of security that you want. I mean, it's up to you guys. But I would put something there that way people can't just randomly click connect in. And then admin password. I haven't played the game enough to know what kind of cheats you can have as an admin, but it's it's like ARC, you can do all kinds of things. And so I would set something for that too, so that, you know, random people coming in, not random, but your friends that you don't want um, to be able to do things, uh, won't know how and won't know the password to be able to do it. Okay, so I changed the server name field here to Geek World, Geek Head Pal World Server. I don't care about description. Set an admin password or server password. Notice the public port, 8211. We're going to, um, that's what the port it'll run on, and we'll be able to uh, connect to it at that port. So I'm going to go ahead and say right quit. I'm going to exit out of the Steam user. Let me put that here too. And then um, I want to actually do a system CTL restart because uh, I wanted to ingest the new config file. It's a little bit of time there, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a status just so we can look at the status of the service when it's done. Which, so far, it's been a pretty pretty stable server. 
Um, Satisfactory had some problems initially. I hope this one doesn't have the same kind of issues, but we'll see the more I play it. Okay, so it says active running. That's good. Got some like errors and stuff, but even like again, my Arc server said these same kind of things, so I I don't know. It doesn't affect the server running, so I don't think it's much of a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit, quit that, um, and I think it's ready. So now what we can do is we can go over to the game now, join multiplayer. Um, we'll put the IP address, my local one, right? If, if you're going to do this for your friends, they're going to have to have your external IP and you're going to have to do uh, port forwarding for this port on your router to your Linux server that's running. That's an important piece. Like if you want to externally expose it, you have to do that on your router. For internal like this, this is just an internal network IP. Um, we can just connect right to it. It wants the password, which I made that. Go ahead and hit OK. And it looks pretty good so far. That's pretty exciting. Not that hard to set up, honestly. Let's see if it actually connects. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and say confirm. Uh, I'm going to change my name, though. Never mind. I'm going to say VKED. Confirm presets. Oh, isn't that interesting? I'm going to go with this guy. And then we're going to go ahead and modify it a little bit. Skin color is fine. I don't know if I like these eyeballs though. What the heck? Here we go. An eye color. Let's go with a blue. Let's customize that. Make a really nice blue. Yeah. Okay. And the, the hair is something else. So eyebrow color. I don't know about that. Gnarly. Yeah, we'll just go with a standard color like that. And go to hair. I do like the hair. That's actually the one I picked. No, that's gross. Too, too orange. A little bit grayer. Yeah, that's nice. Voice, yeah, the deep one. Um, body, torso size. This is a pretty skinny dude. Oh, that's pretty big. That's probably there. That's basically what I look like. Yeah, right. Oh, um, so that's some serious shoulders right there. That's crazy. Like, I like the arm size from the side. Like, that looks pretty good. Honestly, this looks ridiculous. Dude. That's crazy. We're just going to have to go for thinner like that. Leg size, maybe a little bit more leg day. Yeah, lots of leg day. No. I don't know. Those are some big hips. You know, those are pretty skinny. I don't know. This is a weird body shape. All right. Let's just go with that. Go ahead and say start game. And let's see what it does. See if it lets us in the server. If it does, then we were successful. Well, it looks like it's working. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to skip this, though. It should ask me where I want to spawn. Perfect. So respawn here. And I am in the server. Hey, that's pretty exciting, guys. Hey, who's this? I don't remember that person. I've played this game once, and I don't remember that. All right, so anyhow, there you go. We set ourselves up a PAL world dedicated server on Ubuntu Linux, and it looks like it was successful. So again, last step to share it with your friends, because that's probably what you want to do. Uh, you're going to want to put a port forward or a PAT rule or NAT, NAT PAT on your firewall router, edge router, which is probably just like some home router, and then uh, open port 8211 um, and forward it to uh, whatever server IP is running your dedicated power world server and uh that's gonna be it guys i hope this was uh beneficial and useful for you guys um thanks for watching